If you have a friend who you're on edge around because you can't truly be yourself around them, you're worried about how they're going to insult you or belittle you, but you still chill with them here and there because you want friends, right? You need them. Well, let me tell you something. I did that. I was too afraid to set boundaries and cut people off because I didn't want to lose people. But it's one of the worst things to do because you sacrifice your own self-respect. So this video is just a little reminder to someone who may be going through this. Don't ever allow someone to put you down in order to keep a friendship. There is way more to life and a lot more people out there that will treat you with respect and just be genuinely nicer to you. See, it's not just your partner that you can settle with, even though it's toxic, but it also happens with friends too. And I had that limiting belief that nobody else wants to be friends with you, so you have to settle now. But it's only till I cut the toxic people out and made an effort with other people that I started creating genuine friendships that made me feel content and at ease with, with being around them. Trust me, even though it seems like it's hard to make friends, and once you have some friends, you're kind of stuck with them, but it's not true. You're really not alone, but you have to take action. You can't just wait around and expect people to come to you every time. It's not going to happen. You will literally get nowhere thinking that way. I learned an easy trick which helped me to get in people to like you and I learned it by watching a Tony Robbins seminar and he said that people like people who are like themselves or who are like how they want to be. So if you want to connect with someone effectively, just mirror them, i.e. copy them. Sometimes when you want to befriend someone and you're a bit nervous or anxious and you see them around and you just wait and you're just waiting for them to say some words or phrases or things in common so you can sort of jump in and get involved and make an effort and sort of repeat what they say and to try and, you know, get in their good books and be friends with them. But there are other ways that you can mirror someone apart from focusing on what they're saying. You can actually mirror someone by the way they speak, making your tone in common with theirs, or changing your body position so it's in common with theirs, or even your breathing pattern in common with theirs. Tony Robbins says that if you breathe the exact same as someone else, you can actually feel what they're feeling. Now, I don't know whether that's true, I haven't tried that, the breathing bit, but the body and speech mirroring definitely works. And you see this mirroring technique everywhere. If you look at any group of friends, or even your own friends, you will notice how similar you all are. The way you dress, the way you look, the way you act. You all like similar interests. And eventually, you do start talking the same. You start standing the same. You walk the same. You start laughing at the same things. And you start acting the same. Humans in general are social people, so if you want to connect with someone, just study them and copy what they do. And more often than not, they will naturally gravitate towards you.